YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on my five rankings of my quarterback, guys. Yes, my top five rankings of all my quarterbacks. Now, listen, guys, my rankings is different from the guys that I'm taking. I got to give respect if I'm ranking quarterbacks. I can't not rank guys that I'm not drafting, right? So some of these guys on my top five rankings, I'm not going to draft. But I still have to mention them because these guys probably can finish there. But with my drafting strategy, I'm probably not taking these guys. And I will let you know when I break these players down. So let's begin, guys. And I'm going to start from five to one. I'm going to work myself backwards. So, guys, my number five quarterback this year, guys. And listen, there's a couple of guys that I feel like can push at this number five spot. But I got to give it to this guy. And it's Trevor Lawrence. This guy's Trevor Lawrence. And the reason why I like Trevor Lawrence as a top five quarterback is because of his rushing upside, guys. Trevor Lawrence has tremendous rushing upside. You've seen at college where this guy could run the ball like he was a running quarterback, like a dual threat, but he wasn't. He actually was a pocket quarterback, so he can play the game both ways. There's only a few guys that really can play the game full both ways. Like some guys can say, ah, well, he can throw it, but he still rather run it. Where Trevor is straight up, he can be a straight up pocket quarterback and never run it. Or he could run it, take over a game, and run it for 100 yards. I'm not going to say he's going to do that every game. He's majority of a pocket guy, but he can take off and run. He could have 10 rushing touchdowns in the season. That's why I'm moving this guy up. I seen it as he developed through the season of last year with Doug Peterson. So once he figure it out when, hey, okay, you dropping back in coverage, I'm going to take off running. Okay, you blitz, and I'm going to get the ball out quick. Once he figure out that rhythm, guys, he can be unstoppable because he's a smart quarterback, and he also has an offensive quarter coordinator like Doug Peterson. So, guys, his upside is tremendous. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be my number five quarterback, and I'm taking it. This is one of the guys that I love. So if I want to take a quarterback early, I'm going to try to get this guy early. So I might pivot and wait and try to get other guys and get Trevor Lawrence off the board, depending on how my league format is, right? Depends on super flex and where I'm at in the draft, right? So Trevor Lawrence, I love Trevor Lawrence. Next guy, guys, and this is a guy I like, and I will take him if I have to in some draft. If I'm, you know, in a 16-team league, super flex, dynasty, I will take this guy. I'm not aiming for him, but I will draft him. It's Jalen Hurts. Now, I was big on Jalen Hurts last year. I said Jalen Hurts had a chance to be a top five guy. Did I rank him that way? No. So, guys, I'm learning. I'm going to start putting some of my guys in the rankings and just going down with the ship. Because I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I want to make content. I want y'all to subscribe to my channel. I want y'all to hit the like button. So if I be too edgy, I can lose subscribers. So I have to be fair. I have to give kind of what the consensus says sometimes. Even though I'm cutting edge, I have to be a little bit in a box. So I think that Jalen Hurts, guys, is, is a good quarterback. And I love his rushing upside. And I think he can throw. He's a smart guy. And he's one of the hardest working guys that I ever saw. He has that, what I call mama mentality. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. But he has that type of mentality where he's going to outwork everybody. He's going to be the first one in the building. He ain't going out to party. He ain't going to the club. So I love Jalen Hurts, guys. That rushing upside is crazy. He's almost like another running back, like a fullback on this offense. So going forward to my number three guy. And this is this is a guy that I'm not taking in any drafts, really. I'm fading him on almost every draft. Not that he ain't going to be good. It's just... I just feel like I could get better value somewhere else. I don't want to, I just don't want this guy. I, that's all I can say. I just don't think this guy, I, I think he can be solid. I just don't think that he's going to be a league winning player. That's just me. Some some things can go wrong. I, I can feel it. It's Josh Allen. Yes, guys. Now, listen, I'm not telling you not to draft Josh Allen. If you want to hit me in the comment section, say, Tita, I love Josh Allen. That's fair. I can't say you're wrong for taking Josh Allen. I respect that. I'm not taking him, but I got do got to rank him as number three. Why? That dude is a beast. That dude can run the ball. That dude has one of the strongest arms in the league, and he's accurate most of the time. Now, sometimes he can get his accuracy can go away, just like a pitcher. Some pitchers that throw really hard, sometimes they go in the game and they can't throw a strike. Sometimes J J Josh Allen can't hit a, a, a car in a parking lot, right? But then you got sometimes where he's throwing uh, needles uh, through a hay haystack, right? So I love Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen, I, I mean, I, I love him as the, in my rankings, but I'm not taking Josh Allen. But he is a phenom, guys, as far as his rushing upside and his throwing ability. And he has Stephon Diggs. But again, I'm not taking him. All right, moving on to my number two guy. My number two guy is Pat Mahomes this year. Yes, guys, Pat Mahomes. Listen, last year I had Pat Mahomes out of my top five because Tyreek left, and I was wrong. I was wrong bad. Um... Pat Mahomes 
took his game to another level. And the reason why he did, he didn't have to have a big play threat. All he needed was Travis Kelsey. Now, listen, I know y'all might say Travis Kelsey is one of the best tight ends ever to play the game. Yeah, but you still got to have a quarterback to get him the ball. If that's the case, uh, put any quarterback back there and let, and take Trevor. I mean, not Trevor, but take Pat out and see what happens. They probably ain't winning no Super Bowl. But Pat was getting the ball to MVS. He was getting the ball to Juju. He was getting the ball to Kadarius. He was getting it to Sky. He was getting into all types of different level wide receivers that's not really upper echelon. And then he had one upper echelon guy. I thought I didn't. I don't think Pat had the best weapons in the league. I would think he probably was what outside the top ten. He just had one alpha. That's it. That's one alpha. The rest of the guys was okay. I think Kadarius Tony is a potential breakout. Is a really good athlete. But other than that, guys, he didn't have nothing. But he still won, and he still put up the stats in fantasy. So I gotta give Pat Mahomes his credit, guys. So listen, this year, guys, with these top five rankings as my quarterback, I think you need to go get quarterbacks early if you have a lot of scoring with your quarterbacks. So if these guys are getting bonuses for first downs and and six point rushing touchdowns and even six pa point passing touchdowns. And all the things that you can, you know, you can put in the sleeper app or on ESPN. If these guys can hit those bonuses, you need to go get your quarterback early. No longer are running backs the like the original bell cows, and that's what I got to get the first two rounds. No, your quarterbacks is that now. So it's nothing wrong with taking quarterbacks even early and maybe in the late first round of a single quarterback league. If you took Pat Mahomes at the turn and then turn around and got Travis Kelsey, I don't think that's crazy. I don't think that's crazy. Now, you usually were like, well, I get Travis Kelsey here, then I get Pat. No, sometimes now, in some leagues, you probably got to get the quarterback first, even in a single quarterback league, if they got a lot of high scoring. Now, listen, if the scoring is down, if it's six full-point passing league and just a little, just the rushing upside, then maybe you might go wait and get some of these other guys late. But now, I think you need to get your quarterbacks early. All right, guys, so get on to my final guy. And this is my number one quarterback, and I'm drafting this quarterback. If I'm in a super flex league, dynasty build up redraft best ball if this guy's on the board when it's time for me to draft my quarterback and i'm drafting this guy over rbs and all that i'm not pivoting because sometimes i might pivot off a quarterback if this guy's on the board i'm not doing it and it's lamar jackson guys the reason why i'm up with lamar jackson guys he's finally has weapons where he can pass the ball and you know what he is rushing he's like he's the barry sanders of quarterbacks with running the ball the way he's dynamic he's not the power guy like uh like a Josh Allen or Jalen Hurts, he's like he's so agile, nobody can stay in front of him, and he he's very accurate. So he, is he the most accurate quarterback in the league? Not in my opinion, but he's accurate enough to win a Super Bowl and win plenty of Super Bowls. He's just he's more accurate than Jalen Hurts, if you ask me. I think Lamar Jackson was going to have a phenom season. Now, is he going to put up a thousand yard rushing, maybe? But if he just put up 800, but 12 or 13 rushing touchdowns, and he end up throwing for 4,800, 4,500, that's going to be outstanding. And he got guys like Zay, Zay Flowers that could be one of the top rookie wide receivers. You got Odell Beckham. If he's just 75% of Odell Beckham, you're going to be good there. You got Mark Andrews if he stays healthy. You got J.K. Dobbins, who's very explosive, getting coming off that knee injury. You got Gus Edwards that's averaging five yards a carry. You got a lot of big time where you got Rashad Bateman. If he's healthy, he was a great prospect. I mean, it's tremendous. You got Todd Munskin, the guy coming out of Georgia. I love this offense. So I'm going with uh, Lamar Jackson as my number one quarterback. So, guys, I'm not going to hold you up. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. Again, guys, if you want to show support to the channel, go to OnlyFans. It's nothing weird going on over there. It's just a platform where I can go back and forth with you within the chat, give you voice messages and video messages to help you win your fantasy football championship. And listen, guys, I will be doing a lot, some more mock drafts. The reason why I don't do a lot of mock drafts is because I don't want to wait on people. So even if I have to let the computer pick, I'm going to do that because I think that's the next level for me helping y'all out to, for y'all to know where to pivot, where, okay, I'm going to take Lamar early, even in a single quarterback league, and then where I'm going with after that and look at my team. That way y'all can say, okay, I see how you're drafting, TD. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a safe day. Peace.